Dogs are literal thinkers. They put one plus one plus one together and they get three every time. They can't think in the abstract. If they can't get one plus one, they can't go on to the next one. It's all a string. If we booger it up by not communicating clearly, our dog will appear to be disobeying us. What he's really doing is trying to figure out what you really want. And you haven't conveyed the message clearly. So be clear in your communications. When you're training your new dog, use one word for come to me. Use one word for hold still, etc., etc., etc. Anybody here own a Labrador? Is it black? He was, yeah. He wasn't named Bo, was he? No. Okay, good. Because if your word for is whoa, and his name is Bo, he's going to be confused. And if your word for stop whatever it is you're doing is no, it's even worse. So depending on your dog, the style of hunting you do, where you go, don't name your name, don't name your wire hair Bill because there's three Bills on the hunting lease with you. Be careful about your vocabulary. Be careful about the language you speak. I'm convinced that when I put these on, my dog thinks I'm mumbling. Right? Right? He says, who are you? There's two big black holes in your head. I don't know who you are anymore. I have to shoot with glasses. If you wear glasses in the field, use clear lenses. Your dog will see those windows to your soul and understand that you are who you are, and he won't be confused. I use a lot of hand signals, because my dogs will range. The maximum distance he's gone just in training runs is 666 yards, which is probably a prophetic number, because he's a devil dog. When they're out that far, they can't hear you. They can't hear your whistle. What can they do? They can see your hands. So when I want him at 600 yards to go this way, this is what I do. And he gets it. But if I did this, he wouldn't know. So I do this. Sometimes I do this because dogs see moving objects way better than they see stationary objects. You want a young dog to bring something back to you or you want a young dog to come to you? Works way better than you're a good boy. Motion works better than static. Unfortunately, we go out in the field. I want my dog to go this way. He doesn't know. Now he knows. Dogs are ready to take direction sometimes, and they're not ready to take direction sometimes. If you give your dog a command and he's not ready, you're wasting your breath and you've, you've basically given a command you can't reinforce. So don't bother. What are some of those times? Well, at our house, it's when he's digging for sage rats out in the desert behind my house. His one-track linear thinking mode means when he's digging, he's not thinking about anything else. If he's chasing a deer, you can yell all you want. If he's chasing a bird, it's too late to start yelling, whoa. He's not going to pay attention. On the other hand, there are times when a dog is ready. Watch your dogs and they'll tell you when they're ready to take direction. He could be running hell-bent for election across the field, but every once in a while he'll do this. It may not be that obvious. It may be just that's a good time to give a command. When they've stopped for a moment, as soon as that light comes back down, 
good time to give a command. If you need to, you can call their name. And when they look at you, give the command. Until then, though, you might be wasting your time, at least early on in a young dog's career. So timing is everything. My wife sent me a note. It's a reminder to keep it simple, Scott. When you're communicating with your dog, develop that vo vocabulary of terms that is fundamental. I have argued this for the last three years, but I'm convinced that dogs hear vowels and not consonants. If you use commands that are long and complicated, he's not going to get it. Make your commands one word, maybe two if you're desperate, and your dog will learn them faster and will obey them more often. We were talking about North Dakota earlier. South Dakota is the same way. Much of Canvas is the same Kansas. It's so flat that you can watch your dog run away for three days. Stand on a tuna can, you can watch him run away for a week. The problem is, when it's not that flat, your dog probably can't see you, and you probably can't see your dog as often as you think. Poor Buddy has been the subject of so many television experiments, and he's been a real sport about it. We rigged a camera onto him. And watching the playback on the buddy cam, pardon the pun, was eye-opening. He can't see most of us when he's running around in the field. And if there's tall brush or trees or some sort of topography, it's even harder. So much of the nonverbal communication you have with your dog goes away. Be mindful of that and use topography and the other available resources to communicate better with your dog. Because remember what we're trying to do here is we're trying to kill birds for them. We do that by getting close enough to the dog at the right time so that we can take a good, clean shot. Put that bird on the ground and reward him in the ultimate way. So be clear in your communications with your dog and everybody will be much better at their jobs. <laughs>